Now here's a question for you. We've all seen little insects like that that can walk on the surface of water. It seems to defy gravity. Now, how does that happen? Why does that happen? If you answered surface tension, you're correct. That's the reason. But what exactly is surface tension and why does it allow insects to walk on water? A little bit closer up, you can really see that there's a skin effect on the surface of water. And you can see that in water droplets, in rain droplets. Now, this surface tension, this skin that we like to talk about it, is really a surface cohesion because of the air above the water and the property of the water molecule. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. The executive summary here is that water droplets like this form this boundary, which is kind of like a curved boundary at the interface of the air to the liquid because the water molecules inside the bulk liquid are actually attracting each other. I'm going to explain exactly why they do that in a second. But the air above, they're not really attracted to the air above. So what that does is it causes the water molecules, since they're attracted to each other, they end up pulling each other inward and forming this curved boundary when we have air above. Now this is your handy dandy water molecule. You have H2, these are the hydrogens down here, and oxygen up above. Now, because oxygen, because of the way the nucleus is, it's attracting the electrons which are being shared here in the bond strongly, more strongly than the hydrogen is. And that means the oxygen is pulling these electrons which are shared closer to the oxygen atom. The end result of that is that in every single water molecule, the oxygen, which is up here, is slightly more negative on average, and the hydrogens down here is slightly more positive on average. The end result of that is that even though every water molecule from a distance is neutral, equal number of positive and negative charges, if you zoom in on top, the oxygen is slightly more negative than the hydrogen sides of the molecules. And what that means is if you have another water molecule, this hydrogen is positive and it's going to be attracted to the negative oxygen on an adjacent molecule. And likewise, this oxygen is going to be attracted to the hydrogen side of the other molecules. That's called hydrogen bonding. That's the intermolecular attraction between water molecules. And because every water molecule inside is attracted to each other, that gives cohesion being pulled toward the center, and they're not attracted to the air above, that causes a curved boundary to form. And if an insect, which is very, very light, is pushing on the surface of that surface tension with a less force than the cohesion pulling from below, it won't break through and it can walk on water. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.